What you are about to view is my 2023 turkey hunt. This is my first full attempt at a spring gobbler. So I'll warn you. Don't repeat my actions from this video. I'm green as they come and trying my hand at killing a public land bird. But if you are new to the spring thunder game like I am, you will take this away. Just because you are clueless doesn't mean you won't find the action. Alright, I think I'm gonna move on to another spot. I've sat here for 15 plus minutes. It's still raining and it says light rain for the next hour so uh, it might be just good morning to kind of hit a couple different spots listen for a little while and see if I can get one located I got my decoy set up, pretty hidden. Let's see if I can draw him in. I think I'm going to call it. So you can probably hear on camera that there was a gobbler just over here, super fired up. Well, I had a hen that came in right in around behind me, clucking. I mean, she was like 10 yards behind me. Comes all the way around me, comes out into this opening. Meanwhile, he's just going off like crazy. I thought, Oh, I'm in it now. Like, here he comes. Well, he kept gobbling, kept gobbling, and he really wasn't getting any closer. And then all of a sudden, boom! <laughs> no more gobbles. And then another shot went out, so I'm thinking, yeah, that's a dead turkey. I think I'm just going to let this rest and uh, maybe come back here tomorrow morning set up you know before daylight <laughs> this day was way more exciting than i thought it was going to turn out to be can't wait for tomorrow over the next few days i try multiple spots listening for birds on the roost and moving in to capitalize but the only birds i'm convincing are jake's Glad I walked back here, yes. Let's we'll see what we can do with this bird. I've got to keep trying though. After all, there really is only one way to learn. And I've found myself in the middle of it. Eventually, I might get lucky enough to sweet talk a Tom off a limb in my direction.
batteries are freshened up. I'm going to head in here and check this opening where I decoyed that Jake in real hard and got real close. I'm coming in through a different way though. I'm coming in from the north. It's just like this dirty, nasty, swampy trail. But it's a lot shorter. So I'm just going to sneak in there and maybe sit for a little bit. Might set up the decoys. I got both the Jake and the hen. I think the toms are pretty silent right now. The hens are talking, but not much for gobbles going on. But you gotta be in the woods if you wanna get one. After spotting two birds in this field on my way in, I decide to set up shop and wait them out. An hour later, the flock enters stage left. It's a mix of hens, jakes, and one tom. I throw them the best yelps I can muster. But I can't get the gobbler to respond. The jakes, however, are a little more temperamental and happy to get riled up. Shortly before the end of legal, my decoy hooks a jake, and he drags his buddy with him. I keep the gun on safe and let the pair check out the spread. Half a minute later, the bully birds have had their fun and head back to the flock, leaving me to sit until dark. Well, I finally got out of there. What a hunt. That turned out way better than I expected. The only way it could have been better is that was a tom coming into the decoy but a couple jakes i'm gonna keep passing them you know you pass one you might as well pass them all i'd like a, a bird with a beard but fun hunt um, and then they roosted right there so that's good information i could come back here on a different morning and maybe expect to find birds there first thing i'm not gonna be hunting tomorrow i gotta go to work so those roosted birds are safe for me at least um, and I should be back out this weekend to get after them again just what I thought I should do. 
and I got in here early before they woke up, set up in the field, and I was sitting down right when he first gobbled and he woke up and he saw the decoys and he pitched down, come right over. And I just couldn't seal the deal. I was getting too worked up. I was too worried about like the frame. Getting him where he needed to be and then I just I didn't take my time. I didn't like settle in on my cheek like I should have. I already know it. I just opportunities come and go over the next few days. I find myself within range several times, but lining up the camera, bird, and gun proves to be difficult. There isn't any sympathy out here for a rookie as I struggle with the subtleties of talking turkey. At the end of the final evening, my tag remains unpunched. But I've got to remember, the climb to the top is what makes the view so spectacular. Thanks for watching.